Hello everyone, welcome to AI Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about the statistical functions. Now, we will learn about the measurement of spread. Knowing the value of the spread, it will be very useful for us to come to a conclusion. In this diagram, you can see the green color spread starts from minus 6 to plus 6 with a mean 2. It means that the values are distributed in a very large amount. And in the second example, a blue color curve, it starts from minus 3 to plus 3. So within that range, the data are distributed. Then in the red color curve, the spread is between 1 to 3. And it is the height is very high. So it means in the data set, we have many values which falls under this category. So just by seeing the spread and mean, we can come to conclusions about the data set. So it's very easy to find the spread. It represents how close the values in the data set to the mean. So you know the mean value. Standard deviation means it is a square root of average of squared derivation from the mean. So this is a formula. You no need to worry about this. We'll be seeing this topic again in mathematics for AI. Now we will try to directly implement and see the output. Same example. Let's try to find the standard deviation of height data set. So NP dot, it's a standard deviation past the height. If you run it, so the standard deviation states, so the spread what we got is 21.22. So from our mean value, mean is how much we got mean around 160. So from 160, left side 121 right side 21 plus or minus standard deviation within that only all these data are distributed same way we can able to calculate the standard deviation for multi-dimensional array np dot std pass that particular array run it for this 3 cross 3 matrix the standard deviation is 3.21 so if you draw a graph from the mean plus or minus 3 value will be this one. So very straightforward just call the method and get the output. And uh, the next one is variance. If we find standard deviation and calculating variance is literally easy. It is an average of squared deviation. So you can see in other words the standard deviation is the square root of variance. So if you take square of standard deviation, you will get the variance. So print np dot variance height. So the square root of 21.22 value will be 450.666. So that's how we calculate for single dimensional data. Same way for multidimensional data, np dot var pass that array you will get the variance of this 3 cross 3 matrix is 14.98 so standard deviation if you calculate calculating variance is very easier then the last method is average this is most used method even in our school time with average output we can say what is an average number of students passed what is an average weight average height of a class like that we can come to many conclusion and it looks like similar to mean right yes that's true but here there is two concept one is normal average another one is weighted average first we will see with the normal average value so we are creating an array three values 5 10 15 and just printing that value now i am trying to find the average of these three number and uh, this is without specifying the weight this is the same as mean that is np dot average pass the array so the average of all these three values is 10 this is a normal average same example let's see with the weighted average i am giving weight to each number this concept we use it in the neural network every neutron will have its own weightage we try to find the weightage for each neuron in the fit function at that time we will be using this concept 
so creating an another array with weightage 1 2 3 so 5 is having weightage 1 10 is having weightage 2 15 is having weightage 3 but for this example i have already given the explanation 5 into 1 10 into 2 15 into 3 divided by weight of the average will get 11.66 let's try to find it directly np dot average a till this we know what comma weights weights equal to wt nothing but these three value if you execute you will get 11.66 same as above calculation and one more parameter you can add returned equal to true if you mention that it will display the sum of weight nothing but 6 that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 equal to 6 that is a one additional feature if you want what is the total weight just add return equal to true so this is how we will calculate the standard deviation variance and the third one is average that's the end of this video thanks for watching happy learning